The record of a weather station shows that out of the 250 days, its weather forecasts were correct 175 times. What is the probability that on a given day it was correct? What is the probability that it was not correct on that given day? So the 250 is a total records that they have taken. So the total number of days for which the record is available is 250. Okay, the total number of days for which record is available is 250. Now the forecast was correct 170. 175 times the forecast was correct. So number of days when forecast was correct. The, uh, the forecast is the right weather was 175. So what will be the probability of this event? What event? For the forecast to be right. Probability of forecast was correct. And that will be number of days for which the forecast was correct. over the total number of days. The total number of days for which the forecast was taken. So in this case, it is the, this was correct, 175. So it will be 175 over, the forecast was taken for a total of 250 days. So the answer for this is 0 0.7 for which the forecast was correct. So this answer we found and that was 0 0.7. Now we must find the, the probability when the forecast was not correct. When the forecast was not correct. Okay. So the total days was equal to the days when forecast was correct. Right. And plus the days when the forecast was wrong. Now the total days was 250. The forecast was correct for 175 days. And this was when the days when forecast was wrong. So the days for which when forecast was wrong would be 250 minus 175. So 250 minus 175 and that is for 75 days, 75 days when forecast was not right or was wrong. So what would be the second probability for not right, the probability for it not being right? How many days was the forecast not right? It was 175 over number of days it was let's just go over, over that again the forecast was wrong the probability of forecast to be wrong how many days was the forecast wrong 75 days so 75 over the total days for which forecast was taken was 250 and that answer will come 0 0.3 this was the probability when the forecast was wrong and this is the probability when the forecast was right. This was when the forecast was right. Have you seen when you add up 0.3 plus 0.7, it comes 0.1. The total probability comes 1. The percentage of marks obtained by a student in a monthly unit test are given below. Based on this data, find the probability that the student gets more than 70% marks in a unit test. So in test 1, this is test 1, the child got 69%. In test 2, he's got 71%. In test 3, he got 73 Test 4, 68%. Fifth test, 74% how many tests has he answered 
total test equal to 5. So 5 test he has answered. We need to find the probability of getting more than 70 marks. Let us see in how many tests has he got more than 70 marks. In the first test more than 70? No. In the second test? Yes. In the third test? Yes. In the fourth test? No. And in the fifth test? Yes. So number of uh, number of tests with marks more than 70 percent if you count there three three tests so the probability to get more than 70 percent will be three tests that's, that's how many he has got over the total test so over five so three by five that is 0 0.6 is is a probability of getting of scoring more than 70% marks